Hi there. Thank you so much for joining. If you're coming in, please go ahead and respond to the survey. And as you're joining, please just practice using the chat button, find that button, and let us know what city and state, county you're joining us from. Some of you I see coming from Spain. Welcome, welcome. So nice, very nice. I hope you're having a vacation uh, there in Spain. I'm a Jupiter girl myself, um, Patty. I'm a, a graduate of Jupiter High. So uh, welcome, glad you're here. Jupiter Florida's in the house. We've got somebody from New Jersey, Port St. Lucie. Uh, keep sharing in the chat if you would. Love to know where you're from and glad you're here. Orange County, Orlando, home of Mickey. Glad to have you. Um, NYC, moving to Martin County in July. That's fantastic. WLC, thank you, thank you. Homestead, loving it. So glad you guys are here. Long Island, Look, my family's from Long Island. Nassau Freeport, we got it going on. All right. Walker, glad you're here from New Hampshire. Very nice. Super glad to see you. Port St. Lucie, New York. All right. We're loving having you come here from New York. Palm City, glad you're here. Tennessee, Coming from Tennessee must be hard. We love that. Tennessee is a great spot, but you're going to find Martin County is even better. Fleming Island, beautiful. Boynton Beach, uh, that's fantastic. Um, and uh, Philippines, wonderful. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Um, somebody getting ready to graduate. Congratulations, Peter. We're excited that you're here. And somebody here from Broward County. So glad. So I am going to respect y'all's time which is something I really care about. So it is 5.03. If you just joined us, please go ahead and share your city, state, country in the chat. Um, also be sure to go ahead and answer the poll question. So I'm looking at the poll here. Um, we've got uh, three college graduates. We've got somebody recently graduated. I've got 10 certified teachers. We're looking at seven people possibly interested in career changing. Um, looking at four people coming back to teaching. I've got four people that wanna hear about other kinds of positions in Martin County School District. That's fantastic. And then I've got a Martin County School District employees. I've got at least six that are here listening as well. So I am super excited to have you here. I'm going to end the poll now at 5.04 and we're gonna get started. Share results, you guys can see the results. Hopefully that'll give you a little bit of interest and kind of uh, give you an idea um, to my panelists of who is in this event. I am super, super happy to see all of you. Um, as you're coming on, we're asking that you turn off your camera that will help with bandwidth um, and uh, make sure that you're muted. So here we go. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's coffee chat. We will be getting started now. Coffee chat, that's why we're here. So let's check it out. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Here is my coffee. I am ready to roll. Barely see my little lily cup, but honestly, it's got Gatorade. I gotta confess, caffeine's a little hard on me later in the day. So um, thank you so much for taking time to answer all the questions and thank you for joining us for today's coffee chat. We're excited to be here and letting you know why working in Martin County School District is such an amazing place to work. My name is Shannon Armstrong and I am the Director of Recruitment and Retention. I am super, super excited to be here today and to be sharing with you the Martin County School District story. Please be sure that you're muted and turn off your camera. I promise it'll help with better bandwidth. We've got a lot of people here and I'm super glad you're here. So let's get started. Have your coffee cup ready. I've got mine, even though it's filled with Gatorade, I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, so I am the recruitment and retention director for Martin Schools. I'm also a daughter of educators. Uh, my mom, my stepmom, and my grandmother retired teachers. Uh, and funny story, my mom, just came back to teaching. My stepmom just came back to teaching after she's 72 years old and she's back at it and she loves it. She works at a title school and she loves her kids. So I am just a huge advocate for teachers and I understand all about what it's like to be in the school district and how passionate you are about those students. 
So a little bit about me. I have a background, surprisingly, as an insurance adjuster. Uh, I was an assistant manager at a McDonald's. I'm truly a great example of a career changer. Um, I knew that I wanted to come to education and I wanted to make a difference for kids. And, uh, and that's kind of how I got here. So I'm super excited to just be a part of the Martin County School District family as the director in HR uh, as recruitment and retention. So let's jump in. We are really excited you're here. Today, you're going to learn why Martin County is a great place to live and to work. With a little housekeeping, before we get started, this chat is being recorded, which is why it's great to have your uh, camera off. That is my recommendation. It'll help with bandwidth. If you have any questions during the presentation, please, please, please go ahead and share those questions in the chat. I'll bring them up at the end of the presentation. So stand by and we'll get to them. If you just joined us, please feel free to throw in the chat your state, your country, city, where you're joining us from. What I'd like to do next without further ado is I'd like to introduce to you our distinguished panel here today. I have several colleagues and I'd like to go ahead and get started. So we have special guest, Angela Gilbride from, she's an AP from Warfield Elementary. Hi Angie, glad you're here. Next, I have Jeff, Jeff Ramon, Principal Indian Town Middle School. Jeff, give a wave, super glad you're here. Now I have Jay Blavitt, the Principal of South Fork High School. Super glad you're here, Jay. Carol Gray from Certification, the Technician in HR. Carol, super glad you're here. Allison Alvarez, HR Manager. Super glad you're here, Allison. Say hello. And last but definitely not least, my buddy, Julie Sessa, the Director of Risk and Benefit Management. So glad you're here, Julie. Thanks for joining us. All right. I'd like to first talk a little bit to you about Martin County as a community. It is just truly an amazing place to live and to work. If you check out the map, it kind of gives you an idea of how we have water, water everywhere. We have water on the ocean. We've got fresh water. We have phenomenal fishing and lots and lots of things to do here in this beautiful place called Martin County. As you can see, we're also close to Orlando, Jacksonville, Miami, as well as Tampa. So very, very um, easy uh to get to and easy to travel to the next location. Beaches, I love the beach. Not everybody does, but I do. So just imagine a place where the warm waters meet perfect waves, where soft sand beaches play in the backdrop, where you can bathe, you can swim, you can fish, and the great outdoors still feels natural. That's Martin County for you. This is just miles and miles of just amazing ocean. But we would never wanna discount our agritourism in Martin. We have terrific farm to table programs, restaurants where you can eat, where it comes right out of the land here in Martin County. It's beautiful and just wonderful place to come. And the vegetation and the plant life and the farmland is just so wonderful and thriving. Sports and activities are amazing here in Martin County. There's fishing, paddle boarding, all kinds of things like that that you can do here. And it's just so much fun. The arts and culture in Martin County is great too. I really enjoy driving around downtown Stewart or Jensen Beach and you get to see the museums, the artwork. There's a wonderful theater here, uh, lots of plays and things like that in Martin County. It's truly a great place to live and work. So now that we trust just got to the school district of Martin County, I want to pause because I just noticed that we have a few people in the waiting room getting ready to come in. So I want to make sure that we admit those folks and um, make sure as they're coming in that they know that they can go ahead and throw their um, information mm -hmm. in the chat, what city and state they're coming from or country and let them know really quick that they just missed a little bit about talking about Martin County, the community. Now we're going to get started about the school district of Martin County, the school itself. So about Martin County School District, our motto is educating all students for success. We are an A-rated school district by the Florida Department of Education. We have students that represent 45 different countries and speak 41 different languages. 
We have over 18,000 students and things that we like to focus on are things like safety, conservation. Um, we proudly educate those 18,000 students with 12 elementary schools, five middle schools, three comprehensive high schools. We have some special ed centers, we have preschool centers, and we even have some adult education campuses. So those are some key highlights about Martin County, the school district. We also make sure that our students have a personal lap book, laptop or Chromebook available for each of the students. And one of the things that a lot of people aren't aware about Martin County School District is it's very philanthropic community. People are very, very involved in the schools and volunteering and donating their time, their talent, they're volunteering, they fund scholarships. It's just a really, really great environment and you get to feel like you're being supported in the work. Um, also, Martin County School District, as we do a focus on safety, was one of the first districts in the nation to launch the strategic crisis alert system, which is really important because we wanna ensure the safety of our staff as well as our students. So I would like to focus for a minute on why we're here. I wanna take a moment to think about the teachers. All of us have had teachers in our lives, people that have stood out to us that were special or made a difference. And that's the kind of people that we're looking for today to carry on that same mission and work. So we just want to thank those of you who have been teachers before or currently teachers or considering a teaching position. We want to thank you now in advance and let you know how happy we are you're here and how much we really want you to work for us. So we value our teachers and we value diversity and we do desire, if you are bilingual, I wanna tell you that is absolutely a plus for us. So be sure to share that information with us when you apply. We also like to mention, we work with a company called TPG, which brings in international teachers and they allow them to do something called a J-1 visa. So we'll have that information. I'll be sending out a newsletter to recap all of this um, at the beginning of next week. So I am super excited because now I get to have a, a sip of my Gatorade. I am going to introduce to you the amazing Angie Gilbride, who is the assistant principal of Warfield Elementary. Angela, can you share with us how you came into teaching and what it's like being a teacher here in Martin County? Sure. Do you want to stop sharing? Maybe people can see. I don't know if they'll be able to see you now. Absolutely. My updated slide wasn't there. I was updating it before we started, that's okay. Hello all, I am Angie Gilbride. I like to say I am one of two proud assistant principals at Warfield Elementary, but I actually am a Martin County native. So I was born right here in the Mart Memorial Hospital that's now Cleveland Clinic right in downtown Stewart. And um, my children go to school in Martin County schools. I graduated from Martin County High School and um, I really am a proud product of this school district. Um, actually, my, my daughter, who is now a 10th grader, is a third generation Martin County High School Tiger because my parents both went to Martin County High School as well. So Martin County runs deep in my veins. People will probably, if they described me, would be like the cheerleader because it, it really is real though. I am one and I really care about the schools and the district. We're all one family here in Martin County Schools, no matter if you're working on the west side of town, which is where actually Mr. Raymond and I are with IMS and Warfield and then or if you're in another part, like in Palm City. So, um, but my career started, you know, when I went to school here and I always wanted to be a teacher because of my kindergarten teacher, Lynette Walker, who actually, when I started teaching in 2004, I started at Warfield Elementary as a teacher and she was a kindergarten teacher. So the reason I became a teacher, I got to work alongside that teacher for about four years until she finally retired. And so we're still friends now and it's really kind of full circle, but I actually started at 18 years old. I'm 41, um, still young, right? Um, but I started at Extended Day. I started at 18 years old as a senior in high school working at Extended Day because I knew I wanted to work with kids. And so I literally stayed doing that until I graduated from UCF and started teaching in 2004. I was at Warfield for about six years before I went to Port Salerno Elementary, which is another amazing elementary school with a diverse population like we have that's in Port Salerno, which is actually where I live. So Salerno is like five minutes down the road, great administration, great school, just like all of our other schools. 
And then I became a literacy coach because literacy is my jam. I love literacy. I'm very passionate about that. And I was that at Pinewood Elementary, which is another grade school that's actually kind of like Central Stewart area. Um, if you ever see them, they're the Panthers. So they're the Pinewood Elementary. But uh, we at Warfield are, we're a tribe called Wes. That's what we say, because we are the warriors, as you can see from my background. But um, teaching is a passion of mine and just being able to educate all students as we do in the Martin County School District. But really the community ties run very deep. So. In Martin County, when you see people at the district level, like our one of our deputy superintendents was my high school cheerleading coach. So it's really great that, you know, as they see us grow, now I'm starting to see some of my students who I had many years ago now starting to have kids of their own at, at Warfield. So um, it's really great because we had that tight knit community going on. But also in Indian Town, we like to call Indian Town, we're the west side of Martin County, the hidden gem of the Martin County School District. So uh, Perkins, uh, one of our pre-K sites is there along with Warfield, which is we are a pre-K right now. We have two VPK to fourth grade and our fifth grade sits at IMS through eighth grade. And that's Mr. Raymond, who I think will be coming on next. But we um, have a great tight knit community and many times some of the what's really unique about Indian town in general in the Martin County schools is um, we are kind of like the central hub of that entire community, um, the school district schools like both us in the middle school. So people walk in often, they want us to ask questions. So we're always supportive of that. And really it is about relationships and they run very deep across Martin County schools. But really um, we care about family and we consider, you know, us that like that we're a tribe and we're in this together and you know we're here to support kids and it really is a great great place to work the work is hard but the reward is great that's what my mentor former principal Ivy Mankin used to always say is you know the work is hard but the reward is great because the reason you go into teaching is to work at schools like South Work who the principals here and IMS and at Warfield so um, it's really great to meet all of you and we do have some open positions now if you have perused Skyward um, or any of the um, that fast track, they call it too. So um, we actually have some teachers that are retiring this year and a few that are having babies. We actually have like seven pregnancies at Warfield this year. So, um, which is kind of a record since I think I had my kids at Warfield that are, my son is now 12. So um, we have a maternity leave position and interim for probably the whole year. We're going to have three or four teacher positions because we have some retiring. We actually have art. So um, sometimes those are hard to come by because there's only like one art teacher at a school. So we do have an art position. Um, we are going to have a media specialist and she um, goes actually on our related arts wheel because we have about 750 students uh, for pre-K for at Warfield. And then we have um, a district literacy coach that is housed at Warfield that we're hiring for currently and um, a critical thinking like which is a push in teacher position um, as well. So. It really is a wonderful place to be. And both Warfield and IMS, uh, which you need to us, are we the only schools in Martin County that on top of your base salary can get $2,500 more per year that is spaced out over your 26 pay periods. So um, it's a little perk, you know, we, we are out West, but um, many of the teachers that work in Indian Town don't live in Indian Town. So uh, we, but it's a nice drive. It's not like driving on 95, it's really like country roads, and it's my morning Zen time. I like to say to like collect my thoughts when I don't have kids chattering in the background in the car to kind of get ready for the work day and the same thing on the way home. But um, that's it really awesome, Angie. Can, um, yeah. If somebody's interested in a position or working, maybe one of those interim positions, which potentially could turn into an actual position, how would they contact you? So I will put my email in the chat and I will actually put my office phone number as well. And I'll put my cell phone like I'm really big with texting, too. So I'll put all three of those in the chat because we actually have some positions now available. Awesome. So you have positions just to reiterate, you have positions now, some interim positions, and you also have some starting in the new school year. Yes, we have okay. interim positions now. And then we know that we have some teachers that are retiring. So those interims could become longer term. Awesome. Thank you so much, Angie. That was fantastic. Please stay on uh, this event because we might have some questions for you at the end. Okay. Awesome. All right. Sounds Can good. you nice see my you. screen? Okay, folks. Are we good? All right. Okay. So next up, we'd like to talk. The most important conversation that happens all the time is the key questions that revolve around teacher certification. 
So we have a wonderful person, Carol Gray. She's here to answer questions about certification. She comes to us from the corporate retail world, and we are super lucky to have her here at Martin County School District. So if you can here, you will see that teacher certification, if you're not already certified, is a little bit of a process. Um, it's done through the Florida Department of Education. Um, and that if you have a bachelor's degree or higher, then you'll be eligible for a certificate. The first path is via your degree major. An example would be if your degree is in mathematics, then you'd be eligible for a master certification. That's kind of, an, okay. But another, what we call a non-example would be if your degree is in criminal justice, then your degree does not crosswalk with the Florida Department of Education degree majors, and you would need to pursue another alternative to being eligible for certification. So this may be a course by course kind of evaluation, which is not as common, or by passing a Florida certification exam, an FTCE subject area exam. So that's kind of some high level information. Um, but the pathway is really that crosswalk with the FLDOE with your degree major. If you have questions or want to talk, here's Carol's information. And you can also maybe ask her some questions in the chat. She's here and she can help you or you can follow up with her um, tomorrow um, with any of your burning certification questions. We also have a great page um, uh, in the Martin County School District for an HR certification web page. All right. So another question that we frequently get asked about is teacher leadership and career ladder opportunities. So true to our mission, we believe our students really deserve a world-class education with excellence and equity to empower them to reach their real highest potential. And our teachers and school leaders are our biggest assets here in Martin County because we know they make the largest direct impact on our student and their achievement. But to make this transformation happen, we've got a team of amazing and dedicated support staff, operations team, central office folks, whose mission is to support our educators in schools. So thinking about that, we have a group called Aspiring Leaders, we have team leaders, instructional coaches, assistant principals, principals, central office folks. So it really takes a team to make the career leadership happen. So one thing when you're thinking about becoming a teacher or if you've been a teacher and you want to come back into the field or you're currently looking, these are kind of the things that our principals are looking at when they're looking to hire. They want to know about these competencies. Do you have a growth mindset? Do you have classroom management skills? Are you adept at using technology? Do you understand how to use data and analyze it? Can you engage with students? Do you understand standard-based instruction? So these are kind of things I'd like you to start thinking about, those competencies, so that when you go to apply, these are the kind of things they might be asking um, to find out where you're at. So next, I am super duper excited to go ahead and introduce you to Jeff, the principal at a truly amazing school, Indian Town Middle School. Jeff, can you share your career story as a principal and tell us what makes Indian Town so special? Absolutely. Um, and if you would keep the screen up, I oh. it, or, or actually okay. after I tell my story, just quickly, I just I had six pictures that I think really sure. depict the story of Indian Town. Angie Gilbride did an amazing job uh, depicting this community, so I won't repeat all of that. Um, my journey, just very briefly, since you've been on this chat for about 25 minutes as I hail from New Jersey, a product of a Florida job fair, sight unseen, um, took a position in Palm Beach County. At that point in my career, I was a, um, a school counselor and I was also married and raising two small children. So I opted to move to Martin County. Um, so if you are coming from out of state, uh, where you raise your children in the school district you choose is a big deal. Um, when um, Shannon showed that map in the beginning of, of Martin County, there, there was a lake and we are about 20 miles west of those sandy beaches. Um, but what you'll hear from me, and since those pictures are up on the screen, I just wanna share six pictures with you that tell a little bit about our school. Um, we are the Thunderbirds. Um, the picture in the top left corner is our entire student body forming a heart. Um, as Angie highlighted, we are a community. Most of our parents, we're students here. There's great pride in working in Indian Town. Um, 
Unfortunately, that picture represents the loss of a student, but where a community comes together to form a heart, um, to surround one another, it's very symbolic. And it, it's part of, you know, I, I view it as a calling to work in Indian town, an honor and a privilege. And, and it is challenging, but the reward is great. Uh, the bottom left is just about the Thunderbird Way. Um, for those of you that go to places like Chick-fil-A, or Disney World or Publix, they have a way. There's the Chick-fil-A way, there's the Publix way. If you're at Publix and you need a product, they walk you to the product. So at Indian Town Middle School, we're constantly talking about what is the Thunderbird way? Do you feel special? How are you treated? What does it look like? Um, so that's really important to us. In the upper right corner, for those that are old enough, there was a movie called McFarland USA, and I edited that to be Indian Town USA. Um, there are similarities in terms of demographic and a connection. Um, the greatest part, if you saw it, this is not Disney, this is Indian Town, but um, it's, it's creating believers of students that maybe just need to be empowered and inspired. Um, so I, I'm speaking to you very authentically and telling you that I absolutely love our school. The middle picture, is a young lady, and this is about relationships. She's a Thunderbird now in fifth grade, but she's holding up notes from Warfield, Angie's school. Um, so we never like lose track of our children. And then when they go to Jay at South Fork High School, um, we are a family. And, and that was just a great moment. The young lady um, graduated, she's in middle school, and now she's still getting letters from her elementary school. Pretty awesome. And the final picture is welcome to the nest. We're Thunderbirds. So we always talk about life in the nest. A nest to me would be a nurturing, uh, safe venue. Um, and all rise is our hashtag and opportunity awaits is our theme. So if you're someone who's passionate um, about making a difference in, in lives of student, and this is not a infomercial or sales pitch, like I, I live it every day. I've been fortunate enough to be here as an assistant principal eight years, another principal eight years. Um, I'll put my contact information in the chat. We are grades five through eight. We currently have vacancies for a school counselor, an ESE teacher. And then for next year, we already know we'll have English language arts positions, math positions, and fifth grade positions as well. So um, with that, I'll, I'll pop my information in the chat and look forward to hearing questions a little later on um, at the end of the program. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Jeff. Your your inspiration, your love for your kids is just so clear and the passion is just, it excites me. And I imagine there's people on this call that want to come work for you as well. So please do share your contact information. Um, and as a reminder to those that might've popped in a little late, uh, we will be sending out a copy of this video and I'll be sending you contact information for everybody here um, at the end. So thank you again, Jeff, and uh, just excited, excited for the opportunities that you guys have. So next, oh my goodness, we've got the South Fork High School principal. We've got Jay Blavitt joining us, and I would just love to hear about your school and your career, Jay. Yeah, I also had some different pictures that um, were less me and more of my kids. And so um, my name is Jay Blavitt. I am extremely grateful to have the opportunity to address you guys. I know bandwidth is at a, a premium, but it's it's also nice to see your faces. Hopefully you get to see mine here. Uh, I wanna thank uh, Shannon and the team from, from our district for committing to, you know, bringing uh, people together and to um, offering us unique ways that we can reach out and make ourselves more available. Uh, my my story is uh, fairly similar to everybody else's in the fact that, there it is. Look at that. More <laughs> updates, right? I love the smiling faces. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, but I'm the son of educators. And I also grew up East Coast, not quite as far north as New Jersey, but I grew up in Maryland and made my way steadily down to beautiful Florida. And I came from Tampa. I was in Hillsborough County and I sought to always get down here to Martin County. I also have two small children. Uh, five and a seven-year-old, um, and I I love this community as a place to raise my children, and uh, I also like the network of um, people that I work with, not just here on my campus, but Angie and Jeff and Sessa and, and everyone else that we have a chance to really, uh, I had the opportunity to work in the larger districts like Hillsborough County in Tampa, which is sixth largest in the country, and um, 
I, I like the fact that people know me by name. And when I go to the, uh, when I go to the grocery store, like I, I am their child's high school principal. So South Fork is unique in the fact that we pull not only from Indian town, but we actually make up four fifths of the geographic size of this entire county. Um, but one third of the population. So there are, you know, pockets up north, there's a centrally located Martin County, and there's everybody else. And so at South Fork, we say we are South Fork. And the reason we say that is because we ain't trying to be anybody else. And um, the, the reason for that is it's my responsibility as a principal here to galvanize this entire community of four fifths of size into one place. And so we call ourselves Bulldog Nation. And what's great about South Fork is um, the fact that at the high school level, we have so many things that we can offer. Uh, we have so many different courses that we can offer at, on our campus. We offer advanced placement classes. We offer a wealth of career technical education courses, uh, which I'll talk more about here in a little while because those are some critical needs for us. But we also uh, are the home to the International Baccalaureate Program here in Martin County. Uh, the International Baccalaureate Program of which uh, Mr. Raymond's two sons are now, they've grown up and they're now students here on my campus in the International Baccalaureate Program, is the most challenging and rigorous academic program that exists in the world. And uh, we house it here on our campus. And so it, uh, it provides a wealth of really interesting conversations with students. Um, on our campus of 100 teachers, uh, there are 29 staff members that are graduates not of Martin County Schools, but of South Fork High School. And so when we talk about people returning home, we talk about our community, we talk about people that went here, stay here, and they they repopulate and, and it's our home. We are proud to be able to bring people in that are from here. My commitment as, a, as an educational leader, and I hope that you guys are all hearing this, I saw there were a lot of people that are either new to the profession or uh, career changers, there are, on our staff, one fourth of our staff is made up of people with less than five years of teaching experience and career changers. So there are some people that look for people with experience. Personally at South Fork High School, I'd rather you not have bad habits. I'd love to train you myself. And so we look for that. What we look for first and foremost when we interview someone is do they have a magnetic personality that I would want my own child to sit in their class because I can teach a pedagogy, but I can't teach you to connect with kids. So that's what we're looking for here. Um, what makes South Fork great is what you see on the screen. It's our kids. And um, we host the Martin Bowl every two years, which is uh, me and 8,000 of my closest friends uh, in the, the biggest football game around. Um, you know, at high schools, we, we have potluck dinners for tonight. We have it for West Side Story, which is opening up. Uh, we have a tremendous performing arts program, but we do a three-year onboarding process for all of our new staff. Um, that's in conjunction with what the district also offers. But here in-house, we partner you with both a social mentor as well as an academic mentor. And um, we know that first year can be like drinking from a fire hose. So we do our very best to provide you with, uh, with towels and support. And uh, we've shown a tremendous track record of supporting people with that. We are the school that has the current reigning high school teacher of the year, as well as the current current assistant principal of the year in the district. Um, so there's lots of great things that are happening happening here on our and campus. And I think your, one of your students might have won the Martin County Fair. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, she was the fair pageant queen. Absolutely, three years in a row. And she presented herself beautifully too, I was there. Absolutely. Uh, we also have the career technical education student of the year. So, I mean, there are great things that are happening here and we're good with being quiet about it because that's what allows us to continue to develop our reputation and kind of stand out as our own place. But I will tell you the thing, the one thing that sets South Fork apart from every other school, two things that I've ever encountered. One, I have a three hole golf course on my campus. Who knew? And the second thing is this, if you're thinking about coming down here, I have a doggy daycare on my campus that is run by the students in our veterinary program. So if you come and work at South Fork, and I'll talk more about our openings here shortly, you can truly bring your dog to work. 
Yeah, that's right, Melissa. It is awesome, right? That's usually my clincher. I'm telling you now. All right, um, we're on to something. I don't Absolutely. know. That's a little unfair, Jay. Throwing out I the doggy like date. Hey, 100. percent 100. Um, so let me tell you about what I what I have that's open, but more importantly, what I'm going to have open at the end of the year. Um, we've we've gone through. Uh, we have some people that are at the tipping point of their careers. I have four people that are retiring, and we are we are going to miss them. They're awesome people. So um, on my campus in the next school year, and also we're starting to take applications now, are for some career technical programs. On my campus, we'll have an opening for what's called Builder Trades, and that's a general contracting position. So and you may not be on the call as someone who really has that background, but you may know somebody that wants to transition into education. And uh, so Builder Trades, we're also looking to find a welding teacher. And that's like a unicorn. So if you know one uh, and they have a dog, this is the place, right? Um, we're looking to do, we currently have automotive and, and we're trying to expand our reach into small engine repair, possibly marine, because as mentioned earlier, uh, boating and fishing and the beach is right here. And uh, so it's something that we're looking at and we're expanding our veterinary program. Um, and so that means we need an additional vet science teacher. And these are people that are coming out of the work world that can come into the academic world. In terms of our academic positions, um, we know that we're going to have a, a math person retiring. Um, we also know that we will likely have positions in all of our core subjects. We know definitively math. We anticipate English language arts. We currently have a history position open that we're looking to fill. Um, however, we are we want the right person and uh, we're, we're right there at the, the back half of the year. So uh, I encourage you if you're interested to reach out to me and I'm going to throw in the chat now just what my information is. And I encourage you just uh, send me an email directly as to who you are, what you're interested in. Um, as well. Yeah, as you want resumes there. too? Would that be helpful? Yeah, I think that's a good place to start. Okay. Um, again, I'm not afraid as Mr. Gray will test. Not afraid for somebody coming from a different angle or a, or a career changer. Uh, we we want people that want to be in this field. The universe is working to help you to get in front of kids and to help them. That's what we do. So uh, history, reading, English language arts, and for my population, which uh, also is Angie and Jeff, um, we need bilingual paraprofessionals. Uh, we need uh, a number of people to support us with our English as a second language here on our campus. So uh, if you fall into any of those categories or you just want to bounce your ideas off a of sitting high school principal, you're thinking that might be for you, feel free to reach out to me and, and I, I will return email or phone call and just talk and find out if it's a good fit uh, for now or for later. But um, anyway, that's kind of the, the stuff that you need to know about South Fork and uh, what I would also say to a person who is considering this community is um, it really is just a, a beautiful place to live. As someone who lived up north, I do not miss shoveling snow um, <laughs> at all, right? Um, and But the parks here for kids, um, the wealth of communities and activities, and the lack of traffic compared to a metropolitan area, uh, it's definitely a great place to be. So please, if you have interest, uh, and I see a lot of you guys throwing things in the chat, send me an email. Don't forget, my stuff is there. I'll put it out one more time. Um, yeah, send me Thank your you. send me your information. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so guys. much, Jay. Yeah, that was you, all three schools. I'm just so excited that you were able to represent here. So um, just fantastic stuff. So now I know y'all are excited, and that makes me excited. And I'm sure it absolutely makes Allison excited because. She is one of our process improvement queens on how to apply for a job here at uh, Martin County School District. So Allison Alvarez, she's the HR manager. She is working so diligently on um, how to apply in that process and getting you through the hiring process as quickly as possible. So I'd like to go ahead and introduce Allison. She is a career changer here in HR as well. And uh, Allison, if you don't mind, just share a little bit about your career story with us and how to apply for a position here in Martin County Schools. Thank you, Shannon. So um, my name is Allison Alvarez. I actually went to school in Martin County, um, Stewart Middle and Martin County High graduate. 
Um, I now have a senior at Martin County High graduating. So it's funny how things come for full circle. I started in HR 20 years ago um, in the private sector and 15 years ago decided I wanted to support my own students um, and became a school operations administrator at a K to eight on charter side. <laughs> Spent almost 10 years there and really wanted to come back to my home. So I joined Martin County Schools as soon as the job opened up and have been there ever since. I absolutely love our district. Educating all students for success is so important to all of the staff members on the district side. Um, but we want you. We need you. We need you more, just like Shannon has on the screen. So real quick, I'm going to run down how to apply because we want you. So um, let me go ahead and get onto my other screen. Sorry, guys. I'm actually a co-host here, so I'm helping out with Shannon. And just got to move my toolbar, sorry. All right, so everybody can see martinschools.org is our website. Go ahead up in the top right, click Explore Job Opportunities. And this is our new recruitment and retention page that Shannon's been working diligently on. I'm so excited to have this. There's an apply now right here in the top left, also down here if you miss it. Click apply now, takes you right into our applicant tracking system. Really simple, click the view current job opportunities and then you can scroll and select the actual job category. So instructional, you can see all of our instructional positions. If you're selecting one of our schools, let's pick J, South Park High. <laughs> Go ahead and select the school. You can search for positions. You can see the positions currently open. We are working on the 22-23 school year positions coming up soon. You just look at the highlighted position. If you want more details, click view highlighted details and then you can apply right from there. Um, within these, each of our job uh, postings are the job descriptions. So really easy hyperlink for you to click on. It's a few steps to get your application into the system and um, the hiring managers review it from there. And then once interviewed and if offered, you actually come over to the HR side and you'll meet some of my team who definitely work efficiently uh, to get you onboarded. So if you need anything, uh, have any questions and reach out to Shannon or myself, Carol as well. We're all in the same um, area in the HR department. So thank you all for being here tonight. Allison, that was fantastic information and you made it look so simple. So I told you she's the process improvement queen. And we, if you have any problems, any hiccups, you can reach out to Allison and we will make sure to get you processed through. Um, so the chat has been lively. I'm excited. I hope you guys are getting emails down. Um, we're going to go into something I like to call lightning round. I want to respect your time so we can start getting to the point where we're going to wrap up. So before we end our time together, let's answer some questions and get some answers from our panelists here. So let's see what kind of questions came into the chat. Uh, let's see here. Oh, um, Jay, I think you answered this really well, um, but I would like to shoot this out to either Angie or Jeff. Um, one of our questions from the panel is, how are you going to support me as a new teacher, like a brand spanking new teacher coming out of college? Uh, well, we have, mul uh, Jeff probably has some too, but we have multiple ways. We have a Martin Mentors Program, which starts at the district level. Um, and then we have what's called NEO, which is new educator orientation that all new employees get. And it's like basically this really great walkthrough of like benefits and like uh, the evaluation system and like a lot of those things. And then on the beginning and at the end, you get to visit the school that you're going to, to work at. Um, we have also, we assign a mentor for every teacher. So if you're on kindergarten, there's a kindergarten leader that's a mentor that you can go to. We are blessed uh, to be a Title I school, so we use those funds for coaches. We have a math coach, we have a literacy coach, and then we have the district literacy coach. And then we have um, you know, interventionists. So we also have coaching for those that want experience to watch somebody you know, teach and then give you feedback and things like that. Um, us as admin also do that as part of our 
our cycles of evaluation. We go in and like model lessons if it's needed and give feedback. So um, those are ways that we really support. And we have a big focus for us at Warfield is PLCs. So we actually change um, our entire related arts, uh, kind of block it each day. Our, our teams of teachers that they all have the same planning time have about an hour and a half of PLCs that that like collaborative, you might've known it as CLTs, the collaborative team planning time. So each day a grade level has that. So that's another support because the team works collaboratively to build lessons and to you know look at data and, and make plans and share things with each other. So we're a big support and you have a mentor uh, that's one-on-one -on -one that you can go to for anything. Plus we have like a mentor guide that kind of tells you what's up and coming. That's great. And Jeff, do you have anything you want to add or anything, uh, Jay, either one of you that we might have missed? Just the only other thing we do when a new teammate comes on board, we um, bring them in early um, to orient them to the campus. We also have our own in-house uh, new teacher induction program. And then lastly, we really think strategically where your classroom will be and making sure you're surrounded by positive teachers that are willing to help, whether they're the official mentor or not. Uh, location matters in uh, your first year in education, for sure. I love that. So great. So these are good questions we're getting in the chat. So um, I have another question here um, in regards to um, benefits. So I'm going to go ahead. This is perfect timing, Julie. Um, I'm so excited to introduce you to Julie Sessa. She is the Director of Risk and Benefits Management. And uh, Julie, um, one of the questions in the chat was about careers and moving up and stuff like that. So maybe you can just share a little bit about your career, how you came into education, and uh, share a little bit about benefits for the public sector uh, employee that is in K through 12 education and uh, and let us know what those benefits look like. Well, thank you, Shannon. Again, I am Julie Sessa. I'm the Director of Risk Management and Employee Benefits. I'm a daughter of an educator. My mother retired from St. Lucie County School District, the, the county north of us. Um, my husband and I both work at the Martin County School District and we've been here. I've actually been doing benefits and risk management for over 30 years. Um, I worked briefly in Palm Beach County School District, actually with Shannon. Um, we were there about five years together, so we're, we're quite a team. Um, but I really do love benefits, and I love talking about our benefits. What's really great with Martin County is we work really hard to create a recruitment tool and a retention tool for our employees with our benefits, as well as our wellness program. As most of you may know, I did see a lot from Florida, but if you're not from Florida, we do have a retirement system called the Florida Retirement System. And this is a district paid benefit as well as a 3% employee contribution. So there is retirement benefits with any position that is six hours or more at the Martin County School District. And we also have an option for single coverage, fully paid benefit program. Our medical insurance has single coverage where the premium is paid by the district. We have a dental insurance program where the premium is paid by the district for single coverage again, and our vision coverage. We have a premium paid for single coverage for our vision. The district also provides life insurance and an employee assistance program. So we put together a whole package where a single person can come in and get medical, dental, vision, life, and employee assistance program and not have to pay any premiums out of their paycheck, which I think is a really awesome recruitment and retention tool. Um, we also have a lot of voluntary benefits, Shannon, that you can access. We have flexible spending accounts. We have supplemental life insurance. Um, employees can purchase short and long-term disability insurance. And Angie's um, six or seven pregnant teachers hopefully had short-term disability insurance because we have carved that program out so that employees who are in their childbearing years, we encourage them to buy that coverage so it covers them paycheck insurance basically while they're out of work. We also have AFLAC group benefits. We have an awesome wellness program. Every school has two or three wellness ambassadors and we have done really well um, upping our game on our wellness program in the last few years. And we just did biometric screening in the last, this whole month and over 900 employees have gotten their um, cholesterol and blood work done at their school site, gotten their information and been able to share that with their physician or find something out maybe they didn't know. So we're really doing well with our wellness program. 
And also to supplement the Florida retirement that you receive as an employee at the Martin County School District, you can also purchase on your own voluntary retirement. And we have a number of programs. Um, they're called 403B programs in the IRS. So we absolutely have an awesome benefits program, an awesome benefits team. And we're here to answer any questions that you might have regarding benefits. And I can tell you if you're in St. Lucie County that our benefits package is, is a much sweeter deal here in Martin County. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you so much, Julie, because you're right on the money. It's really great. And I got to tell you, you guys just started this new smart money uh, tool that employees can use. And I've talked to many employees that are really excited about this new endeavor, uh, learning about just managing your money as part of that benefits package too. So uh, some really good stuff, especially for somebody who's coming on board as a new employee. So Allison, do we have any additional questions that I might've missed um, in the chat? Um, actually, it looks like Carol's been jumping in, answering some, yeah. and we've got Angie's been jumping in. All so. right, all right. I see one here. Um, does anybody know when the new school year starts for teachers in 2023, what we would consider August? Do we have a date? That's they, a good question. The end of July is usually when they go back. Jeff, I see him looking at the calendar, so. The official answer is August. I think it's August 1st is the optional work day. Okay. Um, okay. It is on the district. I, actually, that was last year. So I was unsuccessful in looking behind me. But <laughs> memory, I was thinking it's August 1st is an optional work day. Okay. So I'll get that question <laughs> answered for sure. Um, when we, um, when I send out the newsletter after this event on Monday. Um, also a question, of course, is what are your current openings? And I just so happen to have that answer ready for you. So throughout the district, we do have a number of other schools. So maybe something that was discussed today didn't fit your area of expertise or what you're looking for. But I do want to tell you that a great way to enter into Martin County Schools is to become a substitute. It'll allow you a chance to visit the school, get to know the leadership, and, and get to really get your feet wet into education. Uh, paraprofessional is a great way if you're not currently having, you know, holding a bachelor's degree, but you might have an associate's degree, you can come in as a paraprofessional and there's supports to um, help you with some college expenses and things like that, that Martin County offers. Um, Jay had mentioned career and technical positions. There's some pretty cool um, positions out there that you don't need to have necessarily a bachelor's degree. It may require a certain amount of experience and certification. So if don't discount what you might have as knowledge that maybe it's something that will fit what we're looking for. Also yeah. extended day school food service and trade positions like mechanics. Um, I think we just got uh, somebody in finance, accounting, we have positions. So any of those things are something you're looking for, just shoot me an email as well. Um, if it's one of these topics, you can send it to careers at martinschools.org. That's careers at martinschools.org. And we'll get back to you. I will also add all of you on this call onto our newsletter that lets you know about current job alerts. So follow up from us. I just want to say how excited I am to have so many of you. At one point, we were over 40, and I'm just super, super thrilled with that attendance and just everyone being here. Um, if you'd like, if you want to just like pop on your camera, you can and just share your beautiful faces with you with us. We'd love to see you. Um, I wanted to let you know that in the next couple of days, you will receive an email with how to apply, a link to update frequently asked questions a link to the recording of this coffee chat. All the links shared in this presentation will be sent to you. I will make sure that you have Jay and Angela and Jeff's information, as well as Carol and mine and Julie's if you have questions. Um, we will add you to our S'mores job alert newsletter as well. And uh, I just want you to know that we are just super pleased that you attended here today. And to remind you that here in Martin County, we are all in to define expectations about what our students can achieve. And we're changing our public school system to ensure that all our students are truly successful. And you can be helpful to that mission with us here in Martin County, where we need you more to help us grow and provide diversity and leadership. 
K through 12 education is an amazing place to grow your career. We want you to join us. We need you more here in Martin County School District. I want to thank all of you for attending and look forward to getting that follow-up email out to you. And a reminder, please share your information with us and please apply as soon as possible. Any hiccups, questions, or problems, I got a full team ready to help you get started in Martin County Schools. Thank you so much. Any last minute comments or questions in the chat, please feel free to do that, but I'll be ending it here in three minutes, okay? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you to my panelists. You were amazing. I really appreciate you telling the story of your schools. You guys have great and amazing schools, and I just hope that you find some wonderful people here today that will, will fit the needs for your kids. Thank you.